hi all this is Saket and here in this video tutorial we will discuss uh, basically uh, configuring CGUI to your Ogre application and uh, here at first we have a wiki index page of CGUI and here from download we will get this one uh, after that we from this link that we get from download uh, we will go for 0.7.5 and here we need to uh, download so from this page uh, just uh, yeah from this link we will get this one and I am going to download it for 2008 and download will start from here as I had already downloaded it so my one is basically here uh, this one uh, indeed uh, after downloading uh, CGUI SDK uh, that's 0.7.5 version for VC9 that is 2008 Visual Studio 2008 uh, we need to extract it and we will get this folder <coughs> within this folder uh, we have all set up uh, configuring uh, configuration files uh, regarding uh, CGUI and uh, at first uh, we need to configure a uh, environment variable within our operating system for this CGUI uh, SDK so let's move to my computer properties and in advanced environment variables we need to create a new one let's give a name CGUI home and here we need to eat the compact of CGY SDK now <coughs> if uh, we need to do ok as I had uh, done uh, my uh, environment variable uh, as I had uh, configured my environment variable within operating system so I am cancelling it and uh, here is my environment variable uh, it's my suggestion to make a restart to your com uh, computer so that uh, the env environment variable get configured within all registries and all configuration files within uh, your operating system and <coughs> as uh, you had done uh, your uh, environment variable let's create a project and uh, uh, this is basically a very simple uh, project as uh, uh, we had created lots of project in my previous tutorials uh, for ogre and uh, Uh, within these projects we need to uh, uh, define some uh, lib files and some include files uh, uh, within the uh, within C++ general and uh, linker general as with input but uh, before that uh, I would like to uh, go to one of very important tutorials especially for uh, CGUI and that is this one basically uh, in Ogre wiki we have a very good uh, tutorial here 
to configure and run CGY to your Ogre application and uh, that's all I had done it uh, that's what I am I am following it uh, so <laughs> okay these are all steps given here so it's very nice tutorial and a lot of things are there to uh, learn for configuring CGUI we need to copy some uh, uh, DLL files uh, as uh, both for uh, release purpose and uh, debug, pur um, debug purpose uh, at first I'm going going to do these for release purpose and these are all DLL files that we need to copy from my CHUA SDK to my Ogre <coughs> App, uh, Ogre SDK so CHUA base CGI Flaggard uh, R base WR base and Ogre Renderer and Expat Parser. So here in this folder uh, CGI SDK bin you will get all your uh, uh, DL files this one this one this one and ogre rendered this one so copy it come to your ogre SDK and that is here within ogre sdk bin debug since i am doing it for release purpose so i will paste it here and control v as i had done it so i am cancelling it right now and my dll files are these uh, apart uh, from these uh, DLL files uh, we need to do uh, a few things within our resource.cfg and uh, this is my resource.cfg for uh, my particular application that we are uh, discussing here and we need to <coughs> declare these steps uh, so that my uh, all resources of CGUI get uh, installed or init uh, and initialized uh, as with Ogre resources. So let's come back to our Ogre application and in properties, uh, generally same. Uh, as we had discussed in uh, our uh, previous tutorial for Ogre it's all same and debug is same and in C++ general what we need to add is the include folder of CEGY so basically this is the path this is the exact path of uh, our CGI include folder and after it we need to add lib files for CGI and this is what CGI home lib and this is this is here okay 
now we need to add two uh, more uh, lib files as input cgui base and uh, cgui ogre render dot lib since it is for release purpose okay fine so in our applications header class we had created a class extend uh, inherited base application to it constructor destructor create scene create flame frame listener frame rendering queued and all key event and mouse events are there set light is there set camera is there set button is there check box is there radio button is there these are uh, some uh, uh, GUI uh, components as button check box radio button and quit is the uh, basically event that uh, we map within this uh, GUI components so convert ID is there uh, and uh, ogre renderer we need to create a, a renderer instance ogre renderer instance of CUGI SDK and after that I have uh, we had in this, uh, created a, a light instance so that's all for now and uh, for complete application we will discuss it in my next tutorial of CG <coughs> configuring CGI in your ogre application so bye